All right, so we need to go find blacksmith and uh, Agrippa guy. I believe it's you. We talk to the blacksmith first, just so if I have to fight, I don't get my butt kicked. Oh, he's right here. Sextus. Sit right next to him. If you're here to get your weapons fixed, you must have me confused with Vulcan. They're my father's weapons. Was he buried with them? This leather is fossilizing. <laughs> Help yourself to any of the gear on the racks. Take all of it if you need it. Now, one thing in this game is I think I, do, I control an army also. Because I'm building basically a legion. Which I'm really interested to see in that. So not only am I think I'm doing these... Small battles. Uh, I'm going to be controlling a bigger battle, too. I'm really interested to see how that works out. If I need something special, can I commission you a smith uh, to smith it for me? I have enough work on my hands right now supplying the consul's Kenturiones. You need. Do you sell materials for smithing? You'll have to bring your own materials if you want any work done. I have nothing to spare. Okay. See which objects you can interact with. Press left alt. Click the equipment on the table. Okay. Here we are. Oh, that's the only thing I can choose. Uh, do I want a staff? Do I want the spike? Should I just take all? Let me take all. Let's take all. You have received a piece of equipment. You must assign it to a character before it can be used. I right. inventory. Awesome. Use these buttons to filter out. Okay. Drag the items to equip it. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's better than my toga. When you equip a weapon, you can gain access to its skills. You can hover over at any time to see what's... Oh! Okay. Each character can carry two sets of weapons and freely swap by pressing Q. So with the staff, we get heavy blow and reach. He said I get two weapons. And the pike. Oh, swap weapons. Okay, there we go. Pike, we got... Okay, pierce damage. Hamstring. Marking strike. Apply spotted to enemies. Range attacks against this... Target deal full damage regardless of distance. Hmm. All right. We'll talk to this dude. Not the journal. We're in the middle of something, Tribune. What do you want? I believe you're in a possession of someone's private property. I'm here to retrieve this... it. Ah, well, this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid nephew. Oh, hey, Andrew. Who thinks of himself as the greatest commander history has ever seen. Game, I like it so far. Um, basically, if you watched my demo that I played many months ago, um, I haven't done... This is about where I ended up at. So all I have so far I've done is I got myself some armor after from that. And then uh, doing a side quest here trying to get this guy's journal. Also happens to be my friend, so I suggest you hand it over. Why don't you send him back here to beg for it again?
These are may not seem like much now, but he's a tribunus and he has friends in high places. Today's blue eyed Rucky is tomorrow's Imperator. What will be more strikes me as a man who forgives easily and remembers those who served him well. Mm, all right. I guess you rich kids stick together. Take it. And let's not speak of this again. Awesome. Return his journal, and then I guess let's go do our quest. Like he, it even sounds like I have armor on when I'm running. I get old after a while, but. <laughs> Solway, I Solway. see you have successfully retrieved my journal. May I ask how you managed it? He was just being unreasonable. I kept a cool head and made him see reason. What can I say? I'm not surprised. One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? I'm curious, but I respect your wishes. That is the most virtuous thing to do, and I expected nothing less of you. Thank you, my friend. Just met him, and I'm his friend already. I made that sound like that was a massive quest that I just did. Uh... I need to do something for the end of the map. Let's, let's can switch weapons. Ah, let me not go battle. Right, here's how we get out. World map. Okay. As time passes, impending events will appear on the right side of the timeline and move towards the left side, which represents the present. Some events may come as a surprise. These will not be shown on the timeline. During your travels, you and your Praetorians consume one ration for every eight hours. Keep your pantry well stocked. Starving Praetorians fight poorly. Oh. Oh, I need food. Oh, we hold the button down. Uh, visit the Legion camp. Recruit new Praetorians or Centurions, craft items, develop new battle stratagems, or talk to your companions. I like this. I like how it, the night comes, too. Warehouse. Pirates of Lesbos have been storing something valuable. Okay. You were asked to select which Praetorians to bring with you when you enter a location from the world map. In this case, however, the story dictates that you must bring specific characters just to confirm selection at the time. Yeah, so that's... Do anything? No? Confirm? I believe that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. A lot of reading on some of this. Thursday. We might be at the wrong spot. There's no one here. Julia said the angel would be here. Lucullus is clearly mistaken. If there was someone here, I would know. That's a very useful skill. Ooh, she's an hey, assassin. Don't move. Calm down. I am Julius Calidus of the Occulta Speculatores of Legio Prima Italica. I presume you are my reinforcements. 
You know how much it would suck if your names were like this in Roman times, how you'd have to remember everybody's names when they're like 30 words long? That would really be horrible. Didn't see it all. We were told to rendezvous with you and destroy the pirate navy. The only way I can think of to destroy a navy on foot is to burn it down. Some Greek fire sure would be useful for that, wouldn't you say? Oh, yes. Conveniently, there is a whole warehouse full of it right down there. Unfortunately, the moment we move into that warehouse, they will sound the alarm. So, we should be quick. Straightforward enough. All right, let's go then. There's a small camp of sentries just down this hill. If we hit them first, they won't show up as reinforcements. But then the ones inside the warehouse will hear the fighting and be ready for us. You have touched the matter with a needle. The choice is yours, Primus. Well. All right. Are there more things we can wander? How much can we wander on this map? I don't know if there's other things maybe hidden here. Can we use our archer and hunt some of the deer? Great. Oh. These the guys we gotta fight? Where's this warehouse? Oh, here it is. We deal with the sentries? Let's say we deal with the sentries. Let's do a quick save. Look alive! The Romans are here! How did they get so close? We're sneaky! Um... Wait, what's the purpose of this? Preparation phase. Um... No, I want you here. All right. We'll move you here. The characters adjacent to cover, they are protected from attacks with a 100 degree cone from other side. Cover blocks attacks completely. Lower cover only helps if the character is able to crouch. Characters will automatically crouch to a low cover and stand up to shoot over it, but they will be forced to stand up if an enemy stands next to them. Okay. People that crit, that would be awesome. Oh, why would you go right there? You were an idiot. Focused, unique, light infantry characters. Many skills of this uh, focus to activate. And that focus is spent when the skills are used. Every time a light infantry character makes an attack, they gain focus equal to the combined per focus per attack. Oh, he didn't die? I should be able to hit him. Let's be within three hexes. That is awesome. Oh, I used it to move. I'm going to be in the front. This is not good. Range attack, clear line of sight to your target. Undestructed by enemies or allies. If an enemy is adjacent to cover... Okay. Come here. Wow, you finished him off right away? I love that. 
Uh, I don't think you can hit anybody else. Oh, can you? That slows him down, right? Yeah, 50% movement. Uh, currently move here. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. I'm not a big fan of myself being in the front, but... Holy cow, that's some range. Form up. We'll face them together. I was not expecting to be shot from that far away. Can I shoot them from here then? No. Just out of range. I want to fire arrow somebody. Oh man, I gotta shoot I shoot my own guy in the back. Um Shields can block a certain uh, amount of damage every turn, um, unless a skill states otherwise. Shield damage does not overflow to the character's health. Some attacks will be deflected entirely by the shield, which means a target will not uh, lose shield strength. Shields also apply to the strat status effects strong to their users. When combat begins, which regenerates shield strength at the beginning of each turn. Every time a shield takes a hit, one stack of strong is removed. Reducing the amount of shield strengths restored. Okay. Best way to deal with the enemy shield is to hit multiple low damage attacks until its strong status is completely removed. Avoid shooting shield barrels. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Not be blocked or resisted. We well, already knocked off his shield, so we should be fine there. Couldn't have done it better myself. I'm okay with that. Didn't know I'd move back, though. It's, it's different. I don't think the old man's gonna kill him, either. Uh, smack him! Hmm. Book two and Dune. The slow read. <laughs> I haven't read those that series, so oh, I can't move there. Can I shoot anybody? You. So, not everybody has, like, an Overwatch. Well, let's finish off... Okay, so you're done. I can't take this anymore. Nice! Just killed his own man! Oh god, quit shooting her. He's not feeling well. 
Back in the habit of reading every day. Yeah, I haven't read much. I don't read much anymore. I used to read all the time. Read much anymore. Can't hit you. Now, does, does he have burning? He has burning. Burning applies worsening the burn status beginning of every turn has a chance to end equal to the character's fire resistance. here this is all too easy Let's see if we can finish these guy finish him off here nope come here Look, burning kills him. It doesn't really say it does extra damage. So I have no idea. It's pretty good. Where am I? Thought I could stab him. Well, I'm kind of hidden, so I'm okay with that. Okay, you shot somebody, but let's get you cover. We're all good. We're all good. You're all idiots. We're going to die. Old man. There's one left. Disappointing. Come here. How like the dog you are. All right, can I come here? Step him. There we go. So much better. How long is this game? Um, I think it's 40, 45 hours for this game. So I think it's pretty, pretty detailed game. Okay, this is just like a tactical RPG. Um, after this game, I'll be doing Chorus, which is a flight sim one. So it's like a space fight sim one. like an XP bar or I mean it shows one like I'm level one is everybody healed I think everybody gets healed right anything I can do I don't know anything else I can do We can loot these guys. Oh, we can! Some money. Is there a weight limit? We got some food. Everybody we looted. Now we're gonna check our stuff out. So a month. Um, what it's gonna be? Um, ten.
two and a half weeks, maybe? Two and a half to three weeks. Uh, we'll be on this game. Um, this is a little bit longer. Chorus, when we play that, I believe it's about 20 hours. Vigmund is close to about 20 hours. Um, what did I have after that? Um, oh, uh, Detroit Become Human. I believe that's like around 20 hours. That's what we'll be at with that. All right, let's go check. See if I can equip stuff on these guys. Um, I think I want robes in anybody, though. Uh, not for you. Three to six base damage, which is three to five. Switch that out. Wait, do I have a hood? I don't. Yeah, that'll work. Greek robes. I can just keep what he has on. I'll give him that. Does that do anything special? Resistance. We're okay. Um, that will take me to Christmas time, or not Christmas, geez, uh, to about October, and then October I have uh, a bunch of guy, a bunch of games lined up for October. Now, certain things might change depends on if games uh come out on time. Because there's Deliver Us Mars that seems pretty interesting to me, which is the very end of September, and Plague Tale Requiem. I am definitely getting that game. I played Plague Tale Innocence last year during October, and it's probably one of my favorite games that I have streamed. I love that game. Loved it. So I am very looking forward to that one. Hope it's as good. That was fantastic. I just don't know if anything extra stuff is in this game on the outsides here. If not, then I'll just go directly to the quests. But I'm, I'm interested to know if there's hidden things. Here they are. May Hercules, the enemy is upon us. You go here. Uh, me, go here. Oh, I'm throwing up with the hood. This is the old dude. <laughs> good yeah kind of spooky games um i have deliver us deliver us the moon deliver us mars uh the sinking city now i don't play extreme horror games because <laughs> i'm a chicken um but there's then i have yeah the sinking city which is made by the people that made the sherlock holmes game so the map and stuff is kind of is basically the same but it's like a Cthulhu type game and then there's going to be Moons of Madness now I bought that game a long time ago it was on a huge sale and uh but I've heard it's a spooky game so we'll see how well that goes what's my favorite game that's a toss-up between the Elder Scrolls Morrowind and Kingdom Come Deliverance loved Kingdom Come Deliverance um one of my subs Fleur Lee uh brought it up to see if I should play that game and uh I am so glad she did because uh I have never played a game that should do the Nancy Drew on the list. Okay, I I'll look that up. I'll write it down here. Nancy Drew. Based 
But yeah, for Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, what's my least favorite game? Oh, oh, least favorite game? Hmm. Oh, that's a toughie. Um. And that would be a toughie on that one. Um, because if it's anything I stream or on my channel, I like it. I don't do anything, I don't continue to stream or or uh, make videos on the YouTube channel of things I don't like. Um There's one that's please please the gods. I played that off camera. I beat it, but I wasn't a big fan of it. It's kind of a turn-based game but it's also based on dice so and cards so you have cards but you have to roll the dice also so that's determining if you could hit them and i have such bad luck that i couldn't hit them <laughs> but i never did a i never did that on my channel but yeah that one wasn't a huge fan of 